welcome back to Race Recap. My name is Jackson. This past weekend, we had the Xfinity Series and the Cup Series racing in their first races of the Round of Eight at Texas Motor Speedway. So the Xfinity Series started us off last weekend running 200 laps. The first caution was a competition caution. The second caution was on the four of Landon Castle stopped on track. The third caution was on the 17 of J.J. Ailey stopped on track again. That's the second time this race the car stopped on track. And then the fourth caution was a stage one winner of Austin Cedric. The fifth caution was for debris on track. The sixth caution was on the 39 of Ryan Sieg spun down the back stretch. The seventh caution was a stage two winner of John Hernemichek in the 54. The eighth caution was a fairly big wreck exiting turn number two. Contact between the 23 of Tanner Berryhill and the 26 of Dylan Lupton. Lupton ended up hard into the outside wall, and so did Tanner Berryhill. They both backed it into the wall. And then along came the 48 of Jay Buford, and he hit hard into the side of the 26 of Dylan Lupton, ending all three of their days. And then the ninth caution was when the 74 of C.J. McLaughlin uh, spun out off turn number four, no contact, just got loose, and spun through the grass. And the tenth and final caution was when the 68 of Brandon Brown spun down the back stretch and hit hard, nose first, into the inside wall. And the checker flag of this race went to the 54 of John Henry Nemechek. He is not a playoff driver, so no playoff drivers advance into the championship board after Texas. So the top ten here were John Hunter Nemechek, Daniel Hemrick, Noah Gregson, Justin Allgaier, Austin Cendrick, A.J. Allmendinger, Justin Haley, Harrison Burton, Michael Annette, and Brandon Jones ran on the top 10. DNFs in this race, Brandon Brown was out for the accident. David Starr had engine problems in the 66. C.J. McLaughlin had suspension problems from the accident. Landon Castle had electrical issues. Tanner Berryhill, Dylan Lupton, and J.D. Buford were all out for the accident. And J.J. Yaley had engine difficulties. So the next day was the Cup Series at Texas, 334 laps. The first caution was a competition caution. The second caution was a huge wreck on that restart. They were exiting turn number two in contact with Bubba Wallace, and he spun down the track into the path of the 42 of Ross Chastain. They both spun up into the outside wall hard. They clipped Alex Bowman, and he spun down the track right into the side of Justin Haley, ending both of their days. Ricky Stenhouse Jr. and Ryan Newman also spun into this. Ryan Priest hit hard into the 23 above Wallace. Cody Ware spun into the inside wall hard. And the 53 and 52 teammates, Joey Gase and Josh Blakey, also spun back behind this to avoid. Then when they got back going, the third caution was the stage one winner of Kyle Busch. The fourth caution was brought out for debris on track. The fifth caution was at the end of stage number two. The sixth caution was when the 14 of Chase Briscoe spun. The seventh caution was when the 22 of Joey Logano, a playoff driver, had an engine expire, pluming smoke out the back straightaway, and it ended his day which would put him last coming in the next week's race. And then the eighth caution was brought out when the 17 of Chris Busch on that restart had some contact with Kyle Busch, and he spun on the apron but saved it. But back behind this, drivers were checking up on the outside, and Chase Briscoe had some contact with the 38 of Anthony Alfredo, and Alfredo slammed it back hard into the outside wall, and fire erupted out the back of his car. Probably some fuel got onto the track and ignited, but fortunately he was able to get out okay. And then when they got back going, the ninth caution was for a playoff driver. The 11 of Denny Hamlin spun out but was able to continue. The 10th caution was for another playoff driver, the 19 of Martin Truex Jr. Possible contact with the 99 of Daniel Suarez, and Truex Jr. slammed it hard into the turn four wall, ending his day. And the 11th and final caution was brought out. Once again, the 11 of Denny Hamlin spun, this time down the back straightaway. Not so lucky, had contact with the 17 of Chris Buescher, though. And then the checker flag in this race went to the five of Kyle Larson. So the top ten here were Kyle Larson, which means he is into the championship four at Phoenix, but I'm not too surprised about that. And second was William Byron, Chris, uh, Christopher Bell, Brad Keselowski, Kevin Harvick, Ryan Blaney, Chase Elliott, Kyle Busch, Tyler Reddick, and Daniel Suarez round out top ten. Lots of DNFs in this race. Martin Truex Jr. was out for the accident. Uh, Anthony Alfredo also out for that bad accident. Joey Logano had the engine problem. Quinn Half had suspension issues. Bob Wallace was out for the accident. So was Alex Bowman, Ricky Stenhouse Jr., Ryan Newman, Ryan Priest, Justin Haley, Cody Ware, and Joey Gase. Well, that's all for Race Recap. Come join us next weekend when the Xfinity Series and the Cup Series are racing at Kansas Motor Speedway.